While this first piece is setting up, I'm going to actually make a second strip, which will be the base that this, these dividers will go on to. It's actually two parts. There's a base, you know, that it's glued to, and then the dividers themselves. And so I'll put the strip down the middle of here, tack it down at both ends, and then put one in the center to keep it from moving when I'm putting on the cement, the contact cement. Okay. I get my contact cement again and do the same process as before, but actually, you know, I made a mistake. I need to put contact cement on both surfaces this time. So let me remove this. I'm going to put contact cement. Make sure also the nice the velveteen side of it is down. <laughs> so I'm going to get glue here. Is I want it to stick to the backing on both sides so that it actually won't move in the case. It's a much more rigid hold. So because I don't really care too much how the velveteen looks on this part, but you won't see it. But on the top part, which will have the dividers. The, the area between the backing and the, velvet, the velveteen where the reeds go into, there's no glue there, so it looks nice. The velveteen is not messed up and glued, glued down. So I've got a little piece there, and I'm going to put some on the backing. And then I'm, I'm going to let it dry, and then I'm going to put more contact cement on the flip side and then fold it over like this other one was done. So the only difference is that this, this time I have contact cement on this top surface of the paper and the bottom surface of the paper and the whole surface of the velveteen for this guy. Now for here where the reed divider is going to be I only had contact cement on the top surface of the paper and the outer edges so there's no glue on the bottom part underneath the backing. That keeps the velveteen looking nice. Alright so when this dries up uh, we'll continue that process.